Here, I'm just gonna introduce this one. Welcome to Toonsplain, the show where I explain the world with cartoons. Because the last thing you need is another white guy on the internet telling you what to think. Hey, everyone knows what this really is, so don't use us as a crutch. Watch your ass. Today, I made a cartoon about how all of us are all stressed and have forgotten how to act normal because we're in the midst of a two year long pandemic. People are on edge. Society is breaking down. And I write Toonsplain from the perspective of everyday people living in a future America that's already fallen, that's already destroyed itself. And it really seems like we're on our way there. So stay tuned for more Toonsplain, if you dare. All right, what's everyone want for lunch? My treat. Oh, aren't you a sweetheart? It's so nice being out. We've been cooped up for so long. Is it nice being out? Everyone's acting weird. No one's normal anymore. What are you talking about? Everything's back to normal. No, it isn't. There's all these strangers and who knows who has what? Well, we're all vaxxed, right? Of course, three times. Yep, probably. We're all vaxxed, right, Joey? My body, my choice. My body, my choice. Sir, this is a Burger King. See, this is why public's no good anymore. Was it ever that good to begin with? Hey, can I take your order or what? Sarah Huckabee Sanders, you work here now? Yeah, what of it? Let's just order and get out of here, okay, everyone? I think we still have a bit of pandemic brain. Sounds good to me. Portrait of a society on the brink of doom. A team of unlikely friends. Everyday people just like you and me, only they're just looking to cover the news of the day for a two-bit media organization. Now, they're faced with a most unusual choice. Do they address their obvious mental health issues incurred over the last two years, or do they ignore the elephant in the room? It's a question that can only be answered in The Twilight Zone. Rod Serling? What the f*** are you doing here? The year 2028. This is not a new world. It is simply an extension of what began in the old one. Picture if you will of, okay, we get it. We're living in a Twilight Zone episode. All right, Father James, what the hell is the story on this one? Well, I was just minding my own business when all of a sudden I plowed into a car in front of me and caused this massive pile up. Yeah, just all of a sudden like that, huh? What were you doing at the time? I was trying to post something innocuous and stupid on Snatchchat. Wow, great. On a company-issued phone, too? Guess we should get the lawyers on this. I'm usually so good at texting while driving. It's just that I got COVID, so I'm not able to concentrate like I usually am. <laughs> ah, you came to work with COVID? I guess that means we all have it now, too. <laughs> Oops. Guys, we've all had COVID, like, five times now. You don't know what you're capable of when you haven't yet? Of course not. Do we look like the type of people who learn lessons? Fair point. Aw, shut up. I swear to sweet, ever-loving, juiced-up Jesus that if this person doesn't lay off the horn, I'm going back there. All right, that's it. I'm going over there. Whoa, Jesus, man. pole dancing Christ! Put that away, holy sh**. Joey? What? This is perfectly acceptable human behavior. No, it is not. It's been years now. When will you people get your heads out of your asses? You idiots haven't been normal for years now. What's it going to take for you to come back down to Earth? I don't know. Are we permanently broken? I might be. Yeah, I think James might be f***ed. But what if it's too late for us, too? 2049! It's way in the future! Oh my god, it's the year 2049 and we haven't aged a bit. This is amazing. Yeah, we're cartoons and Ben didn't feel like redrawing us as old people. And laziness aside, this video is probably only going to get like five views. So you think anyone's going to call us out on a continuity error? Hey, YouTube algorithm, why won't you notice us? Y'all motherfuckers want some peanuts? Went from Burger King to flight attendant, huh? 
I'm moving up in the world. Hey, I require hickory smoked peanuts and a whiskey. Neat. Get on that, won't you, toots? Uh-oh. Looks like Joey's getting into a fight with a flight attendant today. I would drop you like the shit bag you are, little boy. Uh-oh. God's plan for you is an ass whooping. All these years after COVID and some of us still haven't learned to drop the entitlement mentality. Yeah, what is this Dave Hollis dog shit? Everyone needs to stop acting like spoiled pricks and treat each other better. You know, just show a little more self-awareness. Unlike the Hollises. Wait, where'd she go? I wasn't done harassing her. Hiya! The tools of division do not necessarily involve idiocy. There are weapons that simply involve keeping people complacent. What will the American people do? Will they begin the difficult process of healing the world they live in? Or will they slip into the broken, destitute world we've just witnessed? Are you kidding? Of course we're going to let it slip. Mm, of course. Perhaps some are resigned to failure. Resigned to the fact that this is our future and there's nothing we can do about it. No one has the will. No one has the gumption. It's a case to be filed under S for screwed in the Toonsplained Zone. Or whatever. What's this show called again? Wait a minute. Can we talk about how Rod Serling is allowed to smoke on a plane? There you go. That's the tune. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, originally I was going to do something thoughtful and, and thought-provoking about the state of the world and where we're going, but... I don't know. I was just messing around and decided to do an ode to Rod Serling instead. So thanks for watching, like and subscribe and all that sh and see you in the next tune.